dear. Have you had something to eat? No, ma, I'm fine. Are you sure? Okay. Yes, ma, I'm fine. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, mom, I will be in my room. All right, I will soon be on my way. How is work? Work is fine, man. Okay. This is a wild goose cheese. I've been living in a fool's paradise, thinking that Fabio will someday want me for keeps. I've been a fool. So it is actually true he's having a sexual affair with a widow. His mother even knows about their illicit affair. The rumor is all over town. He is sleeping with Madame Chiamaka. In a strange way, I seem enabled by the grief I have experienced in his hands in the recent past. Fabio, he was so blunt to his mom that he cannot marry me. What evil have I done to myself? Zube came back the second time, probably to know if I would have changed my mind. I should have said yes to him. And put an end to this madness. Oh my God. Fabio has finished me. Prof? <laughs> I dropped on the argument he was having with his mother. Okay. And he made it clear to her that he would never marry me. What? But, but I, I said this. You just wouldn't listen. Only I think this is a mother thinking. I mean, you had a wonderful opportunity, but you buffed it. You're right. You had all your eggs casted in one basket. You shouldn't have let those men off your hook. All because you had hopes that Professor was going to propose. Exactly my point. Doris. Yes. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Please. You know, Oni. I'm getting irritated by all these things. I mean, look at you. You are a shadow of your own self. Go in there, freshen up, and go out there and get the man that is meant for you. God even brought Uzube back. But you... I was telling you at the office today. Yes. Bella, you said it. Look at our colleague. All messed up. Oh, you see, it's all a mirage. You know? Prof thinks he's so handsome that all women are swayed by his charming looks and eloquence. Who does he think he is to mess with our friend? There's this burden I have been having in the last few days. It started slowly, but right now it's gathering momentum. I have every reason to believe that Stevenson was murdered. No, 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 not by his business associates, but by his family members. You know how he died? How they buried him immediately? How they came for the property. I've added everything up. And I know that Stevenson will not 
he will not be happy with me. Yeah, I feel he will be disappointed in me. Who could that be? I, 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 I'll call you back. Who is that? Who? Yeah, it's me, Rola. Roland. Yes, baby. What are you doing here at this time of the night? <laughs> hey. Chiamaka, the beautiful wife of my late brother. Why are you always asking me? Why? I ask you again. What are you doing here? Um, Chiamaka. <clears throat> It's been two old years since we buried Stevenson. Yes. We, the family members, have moved on. So why are you still mourning him? Why? Just tell me, why? So, um, <clears throat> because I have refused your very immoral advances towards me. You've come here to remind me of my husband? First of all, <clears throat> My advances towards you is not immoral. Yes, you are mine. So let's stop arguing over this. Roland, I will never have anything to do with you. Never. So just quit trying. <laughs> why? Chemaka, why? Is it because of that useless son of a professor that you have continued to host in my house? He is not just the son of a professor. For your information, he is a professor, and you will never, ever be in his class. Now get out. You sounded a bit frantic. Is everything okay? If there's a time I need your assistance, it is now. Excuse me. You're talking parables. What is it? My husband's killers. They are walking about as free as air. Please. I need you to help me get justice for my husband. Please. You think that someone killed your husband? Yes. He was poisoned to death. Who do you suspect? His younger siblings. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. How can someone kill their own blood? You know what? Please, let's go inside. So I can tell you the reason they did this. Listen, I don't want you to think that I am dismissing what you told me out there, but I just want more information. I just need all the facts that you can help me with. That way I can decide what I want to do and how I can help. Okay? The truth is that I have been a fool. A fairy big fool. Why would you say that of yourself? You're not a fool. Come on, why would you say that? Everything is adding up now. I shouldn't have believed them hook, line and sinker. Everything is adding up now. I'm beginning to see reasons why they killed him. Why do you think they killed him? <laughs> you know, Stevenson made legitimate money from fertilizer importation at a very tender age. Even his boss couldn't take the kind of financial risks he took. 
and he was muffled when Stevenson diversified into fertilizer importation. Oh, hold on, what? Stevenson, what? Same Stevenson? As Stevenson was your husband? Yes. I knew of him. And his problems began after he got married to me. Why? What, did he want you two to get married? They didn't want him to get married at such tender age. Stevenson was only 28 when he built this house. They wanted him to wait until he was 35. Whatever. Why? Because obviously they felt the presence of a woman will stop them from gaining access to his wealth. <laughs> so, he took me to a marriage registry and got married to me without the knowledge of his family members. Mm. And so what happened after that? Did they kick against the marriage? I thought they had lost the battle. But I never knew they were planning evil against my husband. But it was as if Stevenson knew. Because he made me co-owner and co-signatory to his account. They sent me to Sokoto to go and take care of one of their sisters who put to bed a newborn baby. They poisoned him in my absence. When they came for the papers, they couldn't do anything because everything was already in my name. You know, Prof, I don't know how to add this all up. But please, I beg of you, how can you help me find justice for my husband? How? Once again, Chama tells you like sharing me. The same fool I want you to stop saying. The same ego who's making you deny me of my right just left this house. What has he come here to do? And how dare you? No, no, no. How dare you walk into this place to talk rubbish? Are you okay? Listen, Luna. I have been tolerating your excesses ever since I lost my husband. Just because I don't want to divide the family. And I don't want to do anything that will make Stevenson turn in his grave. But you know what, Luna? You have pushed me to the wall this time. Pushed you to the wall? What does that mean? Why are you not giving me a direct answer to my question? Chiamaka, for the last time, what has that ego come here to do? Ronald, my husband and his generosity built a comfortable house for his siblings. A kind gesture that you guys have refused to appreciate. You know what? If you leave this house today, don't ever come. I beg your pardon. Oh, Roland, I now know why I was sent to Sokoto to go and attend to Anvera. Yes! I now know what happened to Stevenson. But I am telling you that I will stop at nothing to get to the root of this. Chiamaka, you are not making any sense. Yes. What do you know? And what happened to my brother? Mm -hmm. We will know when the time comes. But for now, Get out. What? Get out! I said get out! Get out! You know, she confided in me that her husband's siblings are responsible for, for his death. Hmm. They must have done it, no doubt. But, um, you see, there's no strong evidence that they had hands on the man's death. According to your story, the man died two years ago. I would have suggested the man's corpse be assumed and um, an autopsy carried out on it. True, I agree with you. That that's right. For a man that went through such an excruciating pain before his death, what the wife should have done when she came back from Sokoto 
was to call for a revolt on the grounds that her husband's cops be assumed by the police for proper investigation. After all, she's educated. She shouldn't have just kept quiet in that um, type of death just for her to suddenly wake up seeking for justice. Mm. I, I, I see your point, Barista, but I also think that, you know, these people systematically, you know, got her into traveling far away so that they can carry out this wicked plot. Mm. That's what I think. Well, Prof, I will study your complaints at my leisure time. Additionally, I would like to have a chat with the plane thief so that I'll know the next step to take. True, true, true. I'll arrange that. Thank you so much, Barista. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for You're your welcome. time. Yes, Abbas. He's been gone for a whole week now. Yeah, he traveled to the village. I'm left in this whole house alone. Mm-hmm. Seriously planning for the wedding. But he's so dumb to realize that I'm done with him. Yeah. Oh, well, not yet. I'm still unable to lay my hands on the document to this house. Once I get hold of it, I will sell this house. <laughs> of course. I'm going to fudge it right away. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. All right, later. Stanley, but my friends call me ST. Okay. The men with me are the police officers from the area commander. Police officers. Okay. Um, without much ado, the owner of this house sold the house to me two days ago. <laughs> what, what's your name again? My name is Stanley. Okay. Stanley, ST, or whatever you called yourself. This house belongs to my husband and I, okay? Yes, that was until two days ago he sold the house to me. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. This house or, or whatever. See, the, the owner of this house is not even in town. Okay, so how possible would that be that he sold the house to you in his absentia? How? I know Uzubeche Ufoha. Yes. He sold this house to me two days ago after his wedding with his sweetheart in Dubai. And every necessary transaction has been completed. Uh -huh. oh, 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 hold on, hold on, please. He, he said... What? Nzube? Wedding? In Dubai? In Dubai, yes. Would you recognize his voice if you hear? Laurel, do well to move yourself and your things out of the house for Mr. Stanley, who is a new landlord of the house. A slay queen will always be a slay queen. I overheard your conversation on phone with your boyfriend. Right from the very day I burst in on you making the call, I went out of my way to mount a CCTV in the whole compound to monitor your every move. Do you know how many years I spent in the streets of Spain before going to the United Kingdom? 
after I was released from prison? For you to think you can just fool me? Well, I discovered you wanted to sell my house and I acted fast to avoid stories that touches the heart. I am happily married now. My wedding was two days ago in Dubai. Thank you, Laurel, for allowing God use you to save my life. God bless you. Except your personal belongings. Please, go in there and pick your things. I would like to lock up my compound. I came with the policeman in case if you refuse to be moved. Please, go in there and pack your things and leave. I want to lock my compound. My car key. Hold on, please. Officers, do your job. Move her. There are too many angles to the case against you. So I will advise you not to complicate the case further. Move. Please. I said move! Oh, it's okay. Please. 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 move. Okay. I done to myself. Oh. You overheard my conversation with Abbas on the phone that day. And he never showed it. Ah. I don't even know what to do. Lauren. Lauren. Should have mellowed down and married that fine guy. He was right. A run scale will always be a run scale. Ah. Hey. Has told me everything. Okay. So I demanded to see and chat with you in person. Okay. You see, Barrister, my husband was callously murdered and I seek justice. That was two years ago, right? Yes. I just came back from the north to hear that he had been buried. Barista, I didn't even get a chance to see my husband's corpse. Madam Chamaka, you would have demanded to know what killed him and why they buried him almost immediately without taking him to the mortuary. You would have called for a revolt. Barista, I guess I was bereft of speech by a family riven by age long feuds. You don't understand. Allow me to elucidate. I have already tried to encapsulate. So no need for long talks, Barrister. You know, I was enmeshed in their webs of lies and deceit. Yes, they gave me this delusive impression and made me travel to Sokoto, only to callously kill their eldest brother. You know, they exploited his generosity shamelessly and killed him afterwards. Barrister, all I want is justice for my husband. If the court exonerates them, fine, let them walk away freely. But if the court finds them guilty, I want them brought to book. Each of them that has a hand in Stevenson's death. That's what I want. You said your gate man is a witness. Yes, he is. Very well then. We are going to make arrests okay. and interrogate them. I believe in the process, they will confess to the crime. Good. 
Very good. Barrister, if you help me bring the killers of my husband to book, I promise you, I will reward you handsomely. Well, Madam Chamaka, I will try my best. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but what do I offer you? Forgive me. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, she promised to get to the root of the matter. I can't let the killers of my husband go scot-free. It is tit for tat. Actually, I've rolled up my sleeves. I mean, how can they just kill my husband? Making myself and my children a widow and fatherless children. It's not right. Honestly, I believe God brought us together for a reason. Thanks for everything. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, Pro, Pro, I'm so happy. Yes, so the siblings of my late husband are languishing in the police net as we speak. <laughs> They've owned up to the crime. Yes. <laughs> I am very, very happy, honestly. Very soon they'll be brought before the court of law. Yes. And they won't go unpunished. I am so happy, Prof. I am so, so happy. Honestly, what they did was beyond pale. Yes, so, they have owned up to the crime. Very soon, they will be brought before the court of law. I am so happy. <laughs> oh my God, you don't know how happy I am. I am so, so happy, Prof. I am so happy! of blue light.
What is it? The blue light of Zamuro left his eyes before me. He must be the lost prince of Zamuro. The blue light of Zamuro left whose eyes? Gods of my ancestors. You are that child who was given out. You. Can you please sit down? I need to tell you the story of your life. Strange indeed. Have you related this to her? I mean, for Elizabeth. Oh, no, no, no. You're the only one that I... Yeah, I, I felt the need to talk to her about this first so that you can advise on how I, can. I relate this to her. All things being equal, if you can uh, narrate your story to me as well. Tell me more. How? The same way you narrated to me on how you obscured the kingdom. That is hidden on top of the mountain, named Zamora. Zamora Kingdom is the land of your birth. They disowned and wanted to kill you because of the sparkle of blue light in your eyes. They tempt you an evil child. But now is the time for you to answer the clarion call. Mom, you would have to go with me to Zamuro. No. Why not? Son, you have to be married. You cannot ascend the throne without a bride. Married lawyer, Unine. On one condition. Okay. I'm listening. That you come with me to the ancient kingdom of Zamoro. And then I will marry you. His emergence in my life brought the kind of joy I had never experienced. And because of him, I decided not to marry again. He is my everything. He is my world. Professor Elizabeth. Yes, please. You are indeed a friend of Zamuro. Having raised the lost prince of Zamuro into a man of substance during the coming New Year festival of Zamuro Kingdom, you are going to be bestowed with the highest chieftaincy of Zamuro. <laughs> and you, like I told you already, you are that lost prince. And look at the throne, the vacant throne of Zamora. The gods had revealed that no king must emerge in Zamora until the lost prince with the sparkles of blue eyes shows himself. Thank you very much, the great keeper of the palace of Zamora. Thank you upholding the words of the elders. I feel at home. At home? Oh yes, I feel at home. I tell you this, great keeper, from the moment I walked into this compound, I felt a force moving me. I couldn't fight it. Almost as if I was under an influence, I kept moving, I kept moving, I kept moving 
until I saw right in front of me the statue that I now know as the statue of my grandfather. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I kept taking pictures. I kept taking pictures. But I tell you this, the more I took pictures, the more I felt a sense of fulfillment and peace inside of me. All of that was happening within and around me, and I did not even know that I was home. <laughs> Once again, great keeper, I am happy to be home, and I look forward to a great coronation. Tell my people that I am not coming to rule, but to serve. <laughs> it is indeed a big story that we are going to tell the people when the time comes. <laughs> One more time, I welcome you before the throne of your fathers, with the elegant woman you have chosen. <laughs> as your queen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The way I go long, I'm my business. If love will go kill me, I'm my weakness. If I want something, I go go for the thing, and that thing go make me happy. Don't try to tell me how to do it. I'm my eye, they see, I'm my heart, they feel. I don't like playing games with nobody. Just want you to know this is who I am. I put my push on your This is who I am. I be the son of the side. This is who I am. I'm 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 This is who I am. This is who I am. I've been the son of the soil. The way I go long, I'm my business. If love will go kill me, I'm my weakness. If I want something, I go go for the thing, and that thing go make me happy. Don't try to tell me how to do it. I'm my eye, they see, I'm my heart, they feel. I don't like playing games with nobody. Just want you to know. This is who I am. I'm my push on your This is who I am. I've been the son of the side This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of the This is who I am. I've been 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 the son of the side 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 of the side